This is a quick video on factorials. When we write something like 5 with an exclamation point after it, that's actually read 5 factorial. What that means is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is then 120. If I write, say, 3 factorial, that's 3 times 2 times 1, which is then 6. 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which happens to be 720. Because of the way factorials work, there are a couple things that are important about them. One is that they get large very, very fast. So 5 factorial is 120, 6 factorial is 720, 7 factorial I believe is 5040. So they get big really, really quickly. The other thing about them is that you can rewrite larger ones in terms of smaller ones. So for example, if I have say 12 factorial, 12 factorial is the same thing as 12 times 11 times 10 and then down because it's like 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 and so on. So I can stop at 10 and say 10 factorial if I want to do that. If I want to use a different one, I could rewrite 12 factorial as say 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 factorial because 8 factorial is 8 down. If I have say 30 factorial, that's the same as 30 times 29 times 28 times 27 times 26 factorial. I can stop wherever I want. I don't have to stop at 26. I could say 30 factorial is 30 times 29 factorial, meaning everything down, or I can continue to go to one. Because of that property, it's easy to simplify division of factorials. So if I have something like 15 factorial divided by 17 factorial, I can rewrite the larger factorial in terms of the smaller factorial. So 17 factorial is the same thing as 17 times 16 times 15 times 14 and so on. I can stop wherever I want to and say factorial. So because of the 15 factorial on top, I can choose to rewrite 17 times 16 times 15 factorial. I choose to stop there because now the 15 factorial will cancel with the 15 factorial on top. When I do that, I get 1 over 17 times 16, which is then 1 over 272. If instead, let's say I have 30 factorial divided by, say, 27 factorial, again, I can rewrite the larger factorial in terms of the smaller factorial. So I can rewrite 30 factorial oops, 30 factorial, man, as 30 times 29 times 28 times 27 factorial. I choose to stop at 27 factorial because now it'll cancel with the 27 factorial on the bottom. That gets me 30 times 29 times 28, technically over 1, but because I factored the or canceled the 27 factorial, if I multiply those together, I believe we get 24,360. Um, that's easier to simplify. And then also a lot of calculators, if you put in 30 factorial, if you put in something much larger than that, they get so large so quickly that it overloads the calculator. Now, because of that property, we can also simplify expressions with variables in them. So for example, if I have 4n plus 3 factorial, 4n plus 3 factorial, assuming that n is very large, is 4n plus 3 times 4n plus 2, because that's 1 less than 4n plus 3, and then times 4n plus 1, times 4n, because that's 1 less than 4n plus 1, 1 less than that is 4n minus 1. 1 less than that is 4n minus 2. 1 less than that is 4n minus 3. 4n minus 4. And again, assuming n is large enough, you know, if n is, say, even 100, then the 4n plus 3 here is 403, and this is 402, and 401, and so on. 
So it keeps going down until we get to 3 times 2 times 1 at the end. Also, though, we could stop at any of those places and say factorial. So if I wanted to, 4n plus 3 factorial is equal to 4n plus 3 times 4n plus 2 times 4n plus 1 factorial could continue to 4n if I wanted to and say factorial. I could have stopped at 4n plus 2 and said 4n plus 2 factorial. So at any point, just like the ones above, you can stop it and say factorial. That allows you to simplify expressions like this. So if I have, say, 2n plus 1 factorial over, say, 2n minus 2 factorial, I can rewrite the larger factorial in terms of the smaller factorial. So 2n plus 1 is larger than 2n minus 2. I can rewrite 2n plus 1 factorial as 2n plus 1, 2n, 2n minus 1, and then 2n minus 2, and from there, say factorial. And then on the bottom, I've got 2n minus 2 factorial. So I can cancel those and simplify this to 2n plus 1, 2n, and then 2n minus 1 all multiplied together. If we wanted to multiply those out, we could. If we were looking at the limit of this sequence, the limit of that last expression would be infinity. So the limit of the original expression would be infinity. So if we did have a problem where it says show whether the sequence converges or diverges, And then if it converges, find its limit. All right, so let's do a couple of these. So number one, we'll say is a n equals 3 n plus 2 factorial over 3 n plus 5 factorial. So we're going to rewrite the larger factorial in terms of the smaller factorial. So in our explanation, we're going to come down and say, okay, a n is equal to this. We rewrite 3 n plus 5 factorial as 3 n plus 5, 3 n plus 4, 3 n plus 3, and now 3 n plus 2 factorial. That's so that we can cancel it with the one on the top. So we can cancel those. And this is equal to 1 over 3n plus 5, 3n plus 4, and 3n plus 3. The limit of that as n goes to infinity, we're going to write an arrow, or you could write the limit as n goes to infinity of the expression, is going to be 1 on the top. And it's going to be the largest term on the bottom as n goes to infinity. The largest term on the bottom is 3n times 3n times 3n, which is 27n to the third. As n approaches infinity, the 1 on the top stays the same. Oops. The 1 on the top stays the same. The 27n to the third on the bottom goes to infinity. That's 1 over infinity, which means this approaches 0. Problem 2. We'll do a n equals 2n factorial over 2n minus 1 factorial. So here 2n is larger than 2n minus 1. We can rewrite 2n factorial as 2n times 2n minus 1. Next would be 2n minus 2 and 2n minus 3 and so on. But here we're going to choose to stop at 2n minus 1 factorial. That allows you to cancel those. That gets you 2n, which then obviously approaches infinity. That means the sequence then diverges. OK, I think that's about it for factorials. If you do have any other questions, definitely feel free to contact me. Um, try some of the homework problems and see if they make any more sense now. Thanks.